We don't have to go kill someone. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Yeah, fine. And you? Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, I am just getting ready for the meeting. I am getting a uh, a presentation ready. Not really a presentation. It's more just a screen so that uh, in the videos it's clear that your screen is actually working. I don't know if that made any sense, but I'll show you. In a so second. you will show something on the yeah. That's all. Oh, okay. Can you see that? Yeah, I see something, yes. Yeah, but... Awesome. Awesome. Now I can't see any, any of the rest of my screen, but you know that happens. One thing at a time. Uh, is there some line in the bottom? At least I see only the top. Uh, say that top? again? Is there something on, in the bottom of the slide? No. That's just okay. literally everything. Okay. I had a, a request from uh, Art to put something in the videos because otherwise it's kind of like a like a blank screen and he thinks that it's not that is video there's supposed to be a video and it's not working, which is uh, I guess a fair point. So. Um, ah okay. Uh, so so you're not planning to present any content there, just the no. picture. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's it.
I think we'll wait a couple of minutes because nobody else is here yet. Yes. How's your how's your week been? You're yeah, pretty normal, so nothing special. Yeah. What kind of stuff are you working on, Atlantic? Uh, mostly smart home. Smart home. So yeah, we're getting some smart home stuff running on our platforms. Cool. So we can, yeah. Um. Yeah, and currently also other tasks, like currently DSL something, and yeah. That's cool. Do you like it? Yeah, it's nice, yeah. That's good. Cool. All right. Oh, I guess we'll wait a couple more minutes. People aren't <laughs> coming. Somebody joined. That's good. More people. Hey there, Jeremy. Hey there, Jeremy. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Yeah. Is there anyone else called in yet from Imagination? Just Nobody me. else. Nobody else from Imagination. No. Okay. Yeah, we're, I think we'll wait a couple I... more minutes. People are straggling in. Yeah, they. I wasn't in the office, so they may be sort of saying, "Oh, where am I?" <laughs> <laughs> that happens. Mm. Did uh... ah, I was just about to say, did Paul Blay join last week? Uh, and I've just seen Paul Blay pop up. I, I think he did. I'm I'm zoning on on. on... There were a couple of people from Imagination, but I don't remember if Paul is one of them. We'll find out in a second. We will, yeah. Hi there, Paul. Hello. Hey, how uh -huh. are you doing? Can you hear me? Yep, can hear you good. We can, yeah. Right. Jeremy was just asking Paul if if did you were you at the meeting last week? I'm I'm having trouble remembering. Right after that, so we want to know why he's doing this. And then after that, yes, you think that you said. <laughs> I oh, didn't that. get that. Yeah, it was distorted. Okay, I think the Wi-Fi is not very good here. Um, I tried to use the phone, but it wouldn't go through either. Really? I'm in uh, Hyderabad. Oh, okay. That that might explain it. Okay. That's. that's <laughs> I was in the call last week. Okay. 
Yeah, it's it's very. I can tell that you're having trouble with the connection. But well, thank you for joining anyway. It's uh 11:05, so we should probably get started. Um, thanks everyone for coming. Um, to the uh, Purple WRT meeting, uh, February 4th. Uh, as a reminder, these meetings are recorded. I um, we post them on YouTube. If there's that's a problem for anyone, um, please contact me. Either tell me now or contact me after the meeting. Um, for everybody, I think everybody who's who's here has been here in the past, but kind of our standard is we kind of just talk about what's going on for all of us, and then we can um, kind of go from there and see if there's any topics that we that we want to discuss and and related to uh, OpenWRT and Purple. Uh, so, uh, Hauke, would you like to go first? You know, what have you been working on and any topics you want to discuss? Um. Yeah, one topic. I think Casey brought it up uh, some weeks ago that it would be nice if Purple could uh, sponsor some uh, work in OpenWRT, like, uh, and at least Atlantic would also like it if uh, Purple could yeah, fund some some projects for OpenWRT, some nice new features. Um, was did there anything happen in that direction? Uh, th that is a good reminder that no, I have not posted. Uh, you know, emailed everyone. I need to do that. I that's actually on my to do list for today. Um, well, one thing I can mention, Eric, yep. this is Art. Uh, that we um, are um, actually doing a. A demo at MWC, so we've uh, hired one of the core developers uh, in OpenWRT to help us with that. So running OpenWRT virtualized on top of a uh, open source hypervisor. So that's just the first project, and indeed we do plan to fund uh, the developers to do other interesting projects. This is just the first one. So Eric, we would like to get a list of what those mm -hmm. potential projects could be. Definitely, yeah. I will. Uh, I will put a um, do a wiki page today. I'll actually make sure it's on my to do list, um, and then we I'll email it out to the list. I'll, I'll email it both to the the purple uh, OpenWRT list and the OpenWRT Devel list. Um, okay. So make sure that happens. Um, yeah. So. Anything else, Hauke? No, not really from my side. Okay, cool. Well, thank you. Um, uh, Jeremy, anything for you? Jeremy, are you there? Always better to unmute, right? Yes, it does. I have all been there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there's internally, uh, I know that there has been still progress on us uh, preparing um, patches for uh, the, the CI40 creator board uh, to be pushing those uh, upstream. Um, Obviously, lots of uh, discussions around sort of the right approach from where we are now, the usual sort of topics of, uh, uh, you know, re rebasing with uh, which branches, um, etc. Et so I, I, d I don't really have a kind of a, a, f a firm grasp on exactly the details and the issues, but other than being able to say, yeah, there's lots of... Uh, uh, work going on behind the scenes, and I think uh, we are getting uh, we're getting things in a good structure to be able to be pushing them uh, mm -hmm. to open WRT. So that's great. It, um, the, just I know I know just even just having you guys as just a bit of a contact. I was expecting uh, Anton actually to come along with some uh, some questions on that, uh, but he obviously okay. couldn't make it. <laughs> Yeah, I have to actually email Anton. To, I was gonna just gonna ask him about some of that stuff. I don't know if I have his email actually. Um, ah, okay. Would you automatically get it uh, when he signs up to the uh, the mailing list? Oh, just... I probably. Yeah, I would have it there. I'm pretty okay. sure he would have signed up. Yep, I'll grab it from there. Okay. Okay. Awesome. 
well, I mean, if there's anything we can do to help, we're we're happy to help with that. Um, yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, Paul, I know you're having some trouble with the Wi-Fi, but uh, want to give it a try? Let's see. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Um, I I have a number of questions actually, but I'm considering the Wi-Fi. I might leave until next week. I think they're not sort of urgent. Okay. Um, uh, you can you can certainly email the list. Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, yes. Yeah. That that was one question I had actually, which was the the. Paul didn't catch that. Okay. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll ask the questions next. All right. I'm gonna. It was gonna a good mute. good effort from Hyderabad. Yes, I Paul, I'm I'm muting you because yeah, it was just it was cutting in and out. But thank you, anyways, for joining and and do email the list if if you think there's something that's in, that a question you have or me, I mean, or anyone, I probably anyone in this group, I think would be happy to help. Yeah. Um. Uh, art. Uh, anything for you? Uh, yeah, hang on just a sec. No, no problem. Sorry, got another call coming in at the same time. <laughs> so um, just a couple things. Again, we're sponsoring that work for uh, MWC. So I do want to invite anybody who plans to be at MWC uh, or for that matter, Embedded World in uh, Nuremberg. Uh, Purple will be at both, so I'd love to see you. I'll be sending out invitations uh, in the next few days to uh, give you our location and whereabouts and so on. And then uh, I think, as everybody knows, I've been in a lot of talks with the Home Gateway Initiative, who have keen, keen interest in uh, OpenWRT. And I'm expecting that uh, several of their members will be joining Purple quite quickly and actually will be transferring in some of the work from uh, open WRT into purple and they have uh, a lot of uh, these include uh, the major carriers uh, in Europe so they have a lot of interest in uh, using open WRT they seem to be moving more toward open source uh, for the future so they're very excited about it and that's, that's great. about it that's great it's great to hear that uh, we're lo looking forward to it and certainly Europe is a is a big place in open source right now so um, I know with the the EU initiatives and whatnot. So, awesome. Um, so, so Art, um, I know that we will be at MWC and uh, also Embedded World, um, but I don't usually get involved in the sort of organization of uh, sort of what actually we have there, um, what presence. Do you, are you discussing with uh, someone like Tony? Uh, Tony King Smith. Yes, uh, absolutely, Jeremy. We're uh, right. going to be in your booth. We have the way your booth is laid out. Most of your demos are along one wall. We're on the back wall, and there'll be a purple dedicated area with uh, the purple demonstration vehicles. At Embedded World, we just are physically present. We don't actually have uh, any booth space or signage or anything like that, but we'll be floating around the show. So we can arrange okay. uh, meetings there as well. That's worth knowing. Awesome. All right. Um, uh, Jose, oh, I think you joined. Yeah, just right. Sorry for the delay. What's that? Hello. Can Can you hear me? Yep. I heard. I, I didn't okay. catch what you said. Yeah. No, I I was just saying that. Uh, well, sorry for the delay. <laughs> just uh, just arrived now. Okay. Awesome. Um, is there anything you want to talk about, or just any no, not really. Doing? Okay. Awesome. Don't have many news since the last time that we spoke. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so that happens. Um. Uh. One. I thought I'd. Uh, I kind of. Um. I guess I'm the last one. So. Uh. I've been working on the board farm prototype. Um. I have uh, all the hardware is actually uh, all physically connected, and I've got the uh, our our router that we have here um, that's already working. 
that's it's uh it's set up to to put the board farm um you know separate it from the other networks uh in the in the um in the co-working space so we've got that set up and that and i think uh i'd like to at some point i don't think i'm going to right away because there's a lot of a lot of issues with that but i would like to have some level of uh of a, a lucy interface to allow people to if they basically can install it and then uh set up their board, board farm on like say one port on their on their router which is kind of the making it uh easily um repeatable for for people who are who are setting up their own board farm obviously you wouldn't need to use that you could you could set it up your own own way but it's kind of a, ideal to uh for people who are just doing it on an on a, their regular router uh to make it remotely accessible um we're uh i'm getting going to be setting up the uh, jump server probably today i'm going to start on it um not that there, there's a lot of sensitive issues there obviously because we don't want to have it, uh, you know, don't want people to have access to the to the machine that much. We just more want them to have access to the uh, the board farm tool. Um, so uh, I was hoping Mike would be on the call, but uh, he's not. So uh, we'll probably I'll I'll touch base with him and kind of work through some of the discuss some of the problems and see how Qualcomm has has done it. Uh, is there anybody else who's used the board farm tool? All right. I guess there isn't. Uh, uh, and I, I'm going to kind of uh, email my progress to the list probably, probably in the next few, uh, either late this week, or early next week, to kind of discuss and see where people, what people think is necessary going forward. Um, that actually reminds me of something. Uh, for the upstream and downstream device, that you know, there's a, there's a device that we're testing in the middle, and there's an upstream and downstream device. What, what uh, software uh, needs software. would people want on that for testing? Uh, what device do you actually mean with uh, this, this? So what, what does it do? So where is it actually connected to? The, it, okay, we have the device under test, which is whatever yeah. um, router we're testing. Um, yes. That you'd, you'd be for... Uh, uh, flashing, and then there's an upstream of device connected to the upstream one of the upstream ports, and a device connected to one of the downstream ports. So you could test like the WAN and one of the LAN ports or something, and those are Raspberry Pis. Um, what what kind of software do you would people want on those? Uh, so how much is already there from this build farm project? So I don't. I thought they have the software running on it, or what do you mean with, by software? Well, it, like basically you mean application, applications like like things like they have like I think they suggest installing like iPerf and there's a there's a few others and I can I can get those. But is there anything like people are like I need this on there to do testing to verify that this works with my build? This works going to upstream and this works going to downstream. Is there anything that people like? absolutely think is necessary or um i don't i i guess I, I don't know if this is really clear what i'm asking but yeah i think so something like ipers or uh and, and, and web server or something where you can download files would be nice uh to okay. test i don't mm, so file exchange somehow i don't know how this works to that i can exchange files with with on my development device this is bored, so then I want to develop on it. I don't know, um, but I assume that there are lots of different people have different things what they need. Uh, yeah. So I think uh, it start with something and then just make it easy for you to add something. Uh, yeah, uh, that might not be a bad idea. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll email the the list. Uh, I'll email this out to the the mailing list what is going to be on these and people can jump in and say, okay, no, I absolutely, this is necessary. You know, X is necessary and we'll, we can discuss it from there. But I thought I'd bring it up in the meeting to, uh, yep. 
So how good is it? Uh, is there any documentation? So when I want to replicate something like this, uh, there, there will be. Yeah. Okay, there will be. Okay. Yep, it's going to be documented, and as and if you want to automate it with, um, we're going to primarily use Ansible as the automation tool. Um, if you want to automate it, it should be relatively easy to manage. Um, that's the goal. We'll see how the how it works with once we actually. Uh, how is it? This thing called you want to use for automation? Ansible, A N S I B L E. It mostly it mostly just uses SSH uh, to connect to devices, um, but it's a it's a pretty nice uh, open source tool for managing a set of devices. No, oh, it's nice. So yeah, I, yeah. so when you went to build it bigger, I would like to integrate some DSL CU, so the other side of DSL or something like this when I get it and uh, if it's possible and well, I need some SSH or something like this something script something that can trigger some scripts under some conditions and yeah, yeah. that's nice, okay Ans Yeah, Ansible is a nice tool it also has the advantage that it's uh, uh, I think it's called idempotent in other, other words if you run it on a system that's basically set a certain way and you run it again, it's not going to do it again or it'll it'll oh, know okay. like you modify the user password, it's only gonna modify the user password once kind of thing. Oh, okay. Um, so it, it's 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 nice in that respect too. Um but yeah, I, I as I once I get it closer to being like we can actually run with this, I'm going to uh gonna put more documentation. But I'm uh I'm documenting it a bit as we go. To okay. Try to, try to get it so it's clear, but it's always very difficult to talk about this because there's so many pieces. Um. So yeah, those are the those are the big things that I have right now. Okay. Um, Art, you said with the HCI, where many people, many companies are joining now, purple. Uh, for what? So what are the what is the focus? What will um. Purple now do some new things. So I heard something about virtualization and so on. What is coming there from uh, so from from the point of topics? What new topics are coming from HDI? Well, as you may be aware, uh, HDI, the Home Gateway Initiative, has been uh, working for about a year and a half on a virtualization spec for use in uh, CPE equipment, and uh, their primary focus has been. Uh, using virtualization to prov provide isolated containers for provisioning. So they've really been looking at uh, provisioning over the air updates, maintenance, uh, debug, these kinds of things. So okay. HGI has decided to uh, wind down. So they're actually, uh, after many years of effort, they believe their specifications are fairly complete. So they're winding down. And we're going to transfer in that virtualization spec and we will continue to maintain it because it it's uh, ties to our work, Purple's work in virtualization, although it's uh, different. It's more about uh, provisioning uh, and so on. But we're going to maintain that work. Um, as a result, uh, we have arranged uh, uh, an easy way for HDI members to transfer into Purple. So we've tried to make it as seamless as, as possible. So we're actually in talks with the major European carriers about that transfer. Um, also, some of the key software developers in HGI are extremely interested in transferring in. And part of the interest is around OpenWRT. As I mentioned before, there's a, a lot of the carriers really want to embrace OpenWRT. And I know there's been some uh, work in the past by the uh, core OpenWRT group to look at carrier features that might be of interest. So what these carriers would like to do is uh, work with Purple to define a list of desired features, and then we would put that out to the community, uh, potentially with funding to help develop those features. So that's the okay. major initiative. Yeah, okay, sounds good. Awesome. Um, all right, uh, that's all I have. Is there anything else that folks want to discuss? Um, Things that they think Purple W or uh, Purple WRT can group can do going forward, things like that. 
I don't have anything right now. Okay. Awesome. Well, hearing nothing, I, I'm I'm <laughs> happy to let folks go. Um, thank you for joining, and uh, we will uh, talk again next week. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Thanks, Eric. Bye. 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 Bye.